So our next uh, speakers are getting closer to the stage. They are a bit, <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, they are cool. Are you cool? Are you cool? Yes, yes, let's see, they're cool. So uh, I talked about them yesterday. Uh, they come from Argentina, so they are the club of robotica of Argentina. We have two members who are going to be on stage. Uh, one is Ezekiel, he's uh, the Kickstarter of this, uh, of this club. They, they, were, they were tagged by the government, they, they were supported. When they went back, as I told you, they went on TV and everybody knows about the open source groups at workshop in Argentina. Um, and so today they came back and uh, we have Talia and Ezekiel. Ezekiel, an electronic engineer who started this club. And Talia went to Dubai to, to learn English. And then she went to Karachi in Pakistan, spent a year in a company there, in a, in a tech company, and she discovered that she wants to be a space engineer. So when she came back, she joined the club of Robotica, right? So the robotics club, I should say. And uh, so they are here today and present us about their CubeSat 3D printing that you can see there back. And uh, the stage is yours, Ezekiel and Talia. Okay, thanks. Hi everyone, I hope you are having a great wor workshop. So we are a, st a student's team called the CDR from the Robotics Club of the National Technolo Technological University from Argentina. We are students passionate about hands-on for discovering new ways to contribute to the evolution of the humankind. So for that we develop an open environment to work with open applications. And recently, we are embarking in the aerospace field. So what is the aim of the CDR? Well, the aim of the CDR is to keep us motivated and to build a friendly extracurricular learning environment. So our primary mission is to grow up the practical education of space systems from university environment in our country to space and her exploration. So in that way, to get the opportunity to be attached and participate in the new open space revolution. We are really excited to reach further in this field, expand and evolve our knowledge and resources, to transmit the motivation we carry up to our community and to share them the open source philosophy. So to be able to set a working academic CubeSat model with the ground station for the universities of our region, which could simulate a complete space mission to train undergraduate students and professionals in aerospace environment. But how, are we, how we believe it could be possible? The last year we came to present the conceptual design, design of the project named CubeSat 3D Printing and Cuts. In this opportunity, we present its evolution in detailed design, assembly, integration, and test phase. For, at the first instance, for the learning and training, we just began to develop educational CubeSat systems, which is not going to orbit the herd, by, but for now. It is just to understand in theoretical and practical terms how the new paradigm, paradigm of the entire CubeSat constellation system works as a simulation from the ground of Earth. The mechanical model is built up with 3D printing and commercial of the shell components, capable to replicate the same functionalities of an orbiting CubeSat. So now uh, my friend is going to present the technical things. <laughs> Thank you, Talia. Hello, everyone. So, uh, for the technical development, we will implement uh, a hub and spoke network model. That each spoke is going to send the taken data to the hub chosen for sending information to the ground station 
couple to the codata and show it up. Okay. In the space segment, we decided to use Arduino board for the UVC because it's open source, available, and affordable. For the CubeSat ACDS, we included light sensor, accelerometer, magnetometer, pressure and temperature sensor. And for the communication subsystem, we use a radio frequency to communicate from the hub to the ground station and to generate the communication, uh, communication between spoke we decided to make it through Wi-Fi, but it's currently testing phase. And finally, uh, ground station, we have internet uh, RF module to receive data sent by the hub. We use an Arduino Nano board to decode and process data received. So, how to train with a CubeSat? Uh, at the first instance, the implementations of the project is make it through a practical workshop as for short use, uh, courses based in do-it-yourself kit, uh, and number one, introduction to the satellite technology, uh, CubeSat system and subsystem, then kit presentation, assembly integration and test, and number four, field trial, uh, for example, uh, image acquisition. Uh, what is next? To encourage the new space revolution in Argentina, we need to keep motivate a community and then hand-ons will be easier into this field. Uh, we keep thinking how to grow up new ideas for our learning. We are working to improve the mechanical model and the technology in bulk. Incorporate the development of a small the orbit system to become aware of the importance about to space debris, pro debris problematic and the environmental and extreme conditions simulator. Uh, thank you for the attention. Thank you. Question? Thank you. So you can come all, all up on stage. Uh, so we have Henan, also part of the robotics club. Uh, so if you have comments, feedbacks, anything you want to help. So I have a first question, guys. Is, uh, so I know you're supporting uh, students. So you're helping students to get into space through the club. Uh, and uh, what, what are the students learning uh, with your club? OK. Um. The primary objective of, of this project is to get this, uh, this, the, the student uh, get hand-on learning uh, about satellite and space technology. So we, in this way, we, we want to promote uh, the open space uh, technology. That's cool. That's cool. I know some of you are doing the same too. Do you plan on keeping it as a local initiative in Argentina, or uh, are you looking at expanding, maybe taking it online and selling the kits to other uh, schools? It seems to be a good question. Uh, primary in Argentina, first in our, in, in our city, um, maybe expanded in Argentina. Uh, for now. Cordoba first then, yeah. right? We are from Cordoba. That's a good point. Marcin? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I have a little compare project named um, Jesus. Uh, Canduino. It's the, for the CANSAT uh, project where you can just print this CANSAT with compare uh, boards. And I have the question about this. Uh, have you some of the training uh, in the internet with the, some of the movies, uh, how to build this, how to program this, or something like that, just for people not directly with, uh, talking with you, but just for enthusiasts who just want to download some from internet and uh, build this in home? Yeah, yeah, uh, we're, we're working on all the documentation for that, uh, maybe, uh, uh, Manual, 
a set of uh, interaction to to buy, uh, to build that. Uh, uh, it's a good idea to make videos. <laughs> we take it. <laughs> Any other comments? Question? So soon we're going to see you on YouTube, then uh, we're going to, s Maybe. to see some uh, videos on YouTube. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I see a lot of people like doing uh, courses, like uh, Julian, you're doing this FOSA system to, to help others get introduced into that. We have uh, Pocket Cubes uh, around there also too. Uh, yeah, maybe stay in touch, guys, because that's the role of the workshop, so that's the, the cool thing. So uh, we're very glad to have you here, and, uh, and we can thank them, because they, they've been doing a long way. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, thank you. I have two microphones now. That's cool. One for you. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you yeah. introduce the next one.